That was uh, one of the president's attorneys, Rudy Giuliani, reacting to the New York Times bombshell report detailing how White House counsel Don McGahn has cooperated with Robert Mueller's justice uh, probe into po potential obstruction of justice. Let's discuss. Uh, Senator Santorum, let me start with you. What do you make of Rudy's comments? Can you, as a supporter of the president, look at this report uh, in the New York Times and say, well, it looks like they're, they're giving them full transparency, time to wrap it up? I, I don't know how you look at it otherwise. I mean, you can look at it as maybe a bad legal tactic on the part of the president and his team to allow your, uh, your, your general counsel to have unfettered, I mean, the, the special counsel to have unfettered access to your general counsel. But you certainly can't make the argument that they're covering up anything or they're trying to obstruct anything. Uh, the reality is they've provided record numbers of documents. They've let the general counsel for 30 hours be in front of the special counsel. That's, that's a, to me, this is a good news story for the president. What, what, what do you make of it? Because it, also in the New York Times story, it said that, that McGahn and his attorneys were concerned that President Trump might be laying the groundwork to set him up as a patsy for the obstruction of justice uh, charges, if there are any. What, what well, do you think? Well, of absolutely. I'm sure that he was protecting himself. He didn't want to be thrown under the bus, and he certainly knows that with Trump's track record, he's willing to throw anyone under the bus. And it's really hard to argue that they've been transparent when he spends every waking moment either, either tweeting, attacking the investigation, and then sending Giuliani out to do it on the air. So I think it's hard to see that as transparent. Yeah, I mean, Giuliani says that, uh, that Mueller's in a panic mode, but just look at the, <laughs> the president's tweet stream. I mean, this morning that he calls John Dean a rat tells you that he is totally worried that McGahn is going to flip on him. And John Dean, by the way, was the hero of the, the Nixon, you know, at least the ability to out the Watergate problem. Well, so. and just a bizarre contradiction. On the one hand, he's defending, right, the president doesn't like to be caught looking like he's out of control of his White House. And so on the one hand, he's saying, no, 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 Don McGahn is is loyal and he's acting on my, on my orders. But on, at the same time, John Dean was a rat. Right. And sort of laying that, just reminding people, in case your oh, head was going there. <laughs> are we making the assumption the president didn't know Don McGahn was talking to the... Of course he knew he was talking. Now, all this time he knew Don McGahn was talking. So Did he really no, have I, a choice? Could he really right, have stopped exactly. him? But it's, the, it's not the... Well, he could have stopped. No. Of course he could have stopped. Well, he I mean, he could have fired him. He could have fired him. But John no, McGahn's no, client could've... is the office of the presidency, not the president of... He and, could, and Rick, the, that's the, not the, the news. The news the isn't that, that the president didn't know. The president's admitting. He's saying, I, I, this was on my orders. And, and according to reporting Don McGahn is saying, yes, the president had full knowledge yeah. of this. The news is that this strategy was apparently shifted halfway through. And so the idea of allowing unfettered access to the general counsel at the beginning probably isn't looking so great now. Well, I, look, I think that's a legitimate, that's that's a right. legitimate concern. That's it's, right. a, it's a legitimate concern of the lawyer saying, well, you know, there may be areas of privilege, there may be other areas yeah. that, that we should have been concerned about. Yeah. And Trump in Trump's fashion, saying, let, him, let it all out because I have nothing to be worried about, just shows, I think, his confidence that there's no collusion. He has confidence, nothing to worry about. He panics every few minutes, which yes. is why he <laughs> every Sending couple of days... Sending tweets out is not panic. Four o'clock in the morning. morning. That's his yoga. Four I mean, that is... Morning. Morning. I mean, come on, that's not panic. <laughs> Governor, Governor, take a look at the... The president was, uh, has been tweeting quite a bit uh, this morning, as you noted. Uh, he sent out a series of tweets this morning about the Russian investigation, including writing this morning, quote, study the late Joseph McCarthy, because we're now in a period with Mueller and his gang that, uh, that make Joseph McCarthy look like a baby, rigged witch hunt. What do you make of that, President Trump, comparing Mueller to Joe McCarthy? Uh, I mean, seriously, I mean, as was said earlier, M Mueller hasn't said word one since this whole thing began. Comparing him to Joseph McCarthy when Mueller is the total hero, but it, but it is but, ironic that uh, McCarthy's, McCarthy's lawyer was Roy Cohn, and every few days Trump is asking, well, where's my Roy Cohn? Who's going to defend me? One wonders who's the real McCarthy. But it's also very ironic that he says that a few days after he puts out his hit list, his enemies list. If anybody right. remembers exactly. the McCarthy well, period, that's exactly what he did. He had a list of people a he was going after. Exactly. He had all of the people he was going to take the security clearances away from. Right. It's, al that's it's, also, it's also worse than ironic. Um, McCarthyism was bad because it was an undemocratic project yes, trying to go. root out uh, differences <laughs> in ideology. There's nothing undemocratic about trying to get to the bottom of whether Russia hacked our elections and had the help of people inside the White House. If, if, if Bob Mueller wanted to avoid uh, claims of McCarthyism, he'd be investigating 
what, what's going on within DOJ and the FBI with respect to Hillary Clinton and all oh these God, other things. It's not his job to avoid hints of McCarthyism by the president. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's his job to do a thorough investigation. And, and who says he isn't? And, he, and, he's, and he's ignoring a huge amount How do you of... How Come on. Well, <laughs> there's certainly no evidence that he't looking into this. We don't this. know what there's he's no doing. There's no evidence because, there's, because it's been oh, looked at and you, passed you, over. Oh, How, many, think, how, think, how long does the think, special investigation into Benghazi have to go? So I mean, think, really? You're going to bring that up again? DOJ employee being a, being, being a feed to the FBI uh, of information the, from the Steele dossier is not something that should be looked into. This, there's lots they of things They are looking are, into it. No, well, we don't have any evidence that the Mueller investigation is, is looking into it. Is looking evidence. into the Steele dossier and is looking into the crimes again, that are listed have, in there. What's wrong with that? Have, That's we, exactly what the department should be doing, well, is looking I, into... I agree the department should be doing that, but Mueller doesn't seem to be doing that. And if you want to have no, no, some no. bipartisanship support, then show that you're willing to not just go after can Trump, I, I just but say, go after things that are not just Trump. I know you want to move on, but I think one more thing about I'm this fine. hit list. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I saw you picking up a paper. I was just helping you along. But, but one more thing about the hit list thing. The thing that I am really concerned about is this list of rev revocations of social, uh, social security, security, of security, security clearance, clearance <laughs> revocations. Um, Such what a Democrat if, with your social what security. What if, I know it's on the brain, what if um, take it away he from ends <laughs> up, uh, what if he ends up revoking the social, the, the security uh, clearances Remote. of the Mueller team is that will that be his yeah. way Don't of trying to shut them, right. out, <laughs> them down and, and 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 there is going to be a bill in congress that would that would prevent that from happening and the question will be will republicans step up to stop that from happening. Gotta pay a couple bills. Everyone stick around. We've got more to I talk knew about. Of to all, move on. Of all, no, I knew I'm, it. I'm good. Of all the names on the midterm ballots across the country, is there really only one name that matters, President Trump? We'll talk about that next. Stay with us. Welcome